The fields of East Suffolk, rich agricultural land that reaches up to the back gardens of the occasional village. This is one of the most thinly populated parts of England. Few fast roads, little industry, no cities, only Ipswich, 30 miles to the south, and Norwich is north. Over to the east, all burned the coast. And down there, Beasonhall, an ordinary English village on a road to nowhere in particular. For more than a century, people have been reporting the death throes of the English village. Young people have drifted into the towns and retired people have drifted out, turning many villages into a kind of superior old folks' home. Much of this is true of Peasenhall and its 550 people. In the course of a hundred years, the village has lost its prosperity and half its population. But what it has never lost is its vitality. This film isn't about Peasenhall's history because it hardly has any. Nor is it about the village's attractive views or interesting buildings because there aren't many of those either. It's about the people at the heart of the village, about what has happened to them and to their village during living memory. People like Mrs. Kate Mills and her son Stephen. What? I can't hear you. What you say, Street? What do you say? You want to know how old you are? I do. I think my next birthday will be 89. Have you lived in the village all your life? All my life, and I was born here. We were, oh, we were all born here. This is what Peasenhall looked like when Kate Mills lived in the high street here as a young girl in the 1880s. Outwardly, it's changed very little. It's still the same straggle of houses alongside the tiny river Minsmere, although the trees have grown since then and the old Roman road's been tarred. What has changed is a whole way of life. When Kate Mills started courting, for example, there was a pattern to be followed, a ceremony to be observed. How we I remember the first time he asked me to go for a walk. There was uh, some sports on the meadow down at the past Sipton School. And we were watching them that Saturday afternoon. And he come to me, he said, Kate, he said, are you going for a walk? And that's how we started. And we, ne we never left off much more. We were all together. For about, I tell you, I left I spent about two years. Then I was out for a walk with a several of my girlfriends down against Sipton Church. I pulled a bunch of flowers off the one of the trees there, lime tree, I believe that is, and he was with a lot of his friends, and he come to me. He said, Kate, are you going to give me a buttonhole? I put a bit in his buttonhole, and we never parted no more. Kate Mills and her young man thought nothing of a seven-mile walk together on a Sunday afternoon. Memories of their strolls together are as alive to her son, Stephen, as they are to her. She used to go right over here up the Baddingham Road till you get to what used to be the Baddingham Bowling Green Public House and then come back down the Bruce Yard Road here, which is a distance of about four miles. <laughs> and sometimes she used to go as far as what is still is, the Baddingham White Horse. And then she used to go around from the Baddingham White Horse, past what's known as the Baddingham Pound Corner. That's why they used to pound the stray cattle years ago. And then come all the way back round here for what's known as the Manor House Farm, right back down here to Peasenhall. Ten years after their first walk together, Kate and her husband married in the church across the road. St Michael's Church could hardly claim to be much older than Kate herself. It was completely restored in 1861, by which time Josiah Smythe's drill works was well established as the pride and prosperity of the village. 
The invention of an uneducated local wheelwright gave Pizenhall half a century of steady work. Nearly a thousand people lived here then, almost double the present number. For the few, life offered security and abundance. For the many, long, hard work and the lowest wages in England. And yet they look back on that time without rancor. 